on this week's episode of Clicks Busters. WizKid says Krakoa Revival brings lots of fun to the game. Not dying is fun, they say. This whole list of things is fun. Here at Clicks Busters, we don't take anyone's word for it, not even WizKids. So we're going to put this to the test. Before we delve too deep into this myth, first we need to go over what is Krakoan Revival. So Krakoan Revival reads, For all characters with this trait, when a friendly standard character with the X-Men keyword and a lower point value would be KO'd by an opposing effect, you may instead choose to turn that character to its starting click this game and place them adjacent to a friendly character that can use this trait. So that means no Colossals, no non-standard characters, pretty much exclusively peanut bases and single bases. If you do, your opponent scores that character and generates a bystander on this card of their choice. The bystanders being these six, three of them have autonomous, most of them have 11s for three, and then there's plenty of support and decent powers to go around with that. Um, and then the final part is your opponent scores 10 points for every bystander they generated this game via this trait, regardless of the source. So the first one would net you 10 points, the second one would net you 20, and then 30, and so on. We opted to go with just the 10-point cap so that it wouldn't get too crazy if one person really got a good turn, but we will leave the... Uh, correct scores in parentheses throughout the video and that's it that's Krakow and Revival let's see how it does on the docket for today is Krakow and Revival and whether or not it is fun Simeon what were the rules for today's game the rules were pretty simple you needed an X-Men theme team because that's how Krakow and Revival works you needed your highest point character to be somebody that could use Krakow and Revival pretty simple but we couldn't go with just the basic Krakoan Revival rules, because then I could KO his highest point character, and he could KO mine, and we wouldn't get the full Krakoan Revival experience. So there was a cap. You could not KO your opponent's highest point Krakoan Revival piece. I had two. Calder was able to KO the Kate Pride, if he so choose, but not the Emma Frost. Those are the simple rules so that we get the most life out of Krakoan Revival, and we get to fully test out all the points that WizKid made about this myth. Alright, well let's play the game, and let's see what our conclusion is. Alright, I'm going to have Storm carry Dupe. Nightcrawler created this dupe. Yeah, it's a terrible placement we're gonna roll to the dough. Cause we're just having fun. Yeah. We're just having fun. It's just right for now. fun, yeah. yeah it's just fun. fun. Uh, my good old Kate Pride is gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go here carrying my Lockjaw and my Emma Frost. He's gonna perplex down Dupes attack. That's Lockheed. Lock I was like Rocky Raccoon. Did I say Lockjaw? Yeah, he said Lockjaw. It's fine. <laughs> We're just having fun, it doesn't matter. It's fun, yeah. Uh, my Polaris is going to TK Wolverine six squares out. One, two, three, four, five, six to here. He can see that square. Mm. Uh, she has a special once per turn when an opposing character is placed, so it doesn't work for this. I'm just making stuff up. Uh, he's going to go there, and then I'm going to use his Charge Flurry ability, mm. which is fun. I just love. So he's going to charge. It is one, two, three, four, five. No, he can't. He's going to go there. 11 with 3 right. damage. He's got precision strike. Let's crack some dupe open. First attack. 
Oh yeah, that'll hit. For three exploit, because that combos with Flurry now too. All right. Second attack. Hmm. That's a good old 15, that'll miss. Yep. That's one, two, three actions. I've got leadership with this guy, so Sunspot is going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just within pulse wave range. He'll carry this lady too, because you can carry flyers now, and that's fun. It's my turn. All right, cool. No leadership, so I'm not gonna do it. Let's go ahead. This dupe is gonna go ahead and ram. Like that. Well, no, actually, you can't. You can only ram this way or this way right now. So, sidestep break away. Ooh, six. Very good, very good. Now he's gonna ram. Oh, he'll try. Luckily, my pulse wave piece has combat reflexes. Ooh. So this is gonna be very difficult it is. for you to do. Oh. That'll hit a 17. It'll hit a 17. And Polaris will take two damage. Two damage. And then Dupe will take an unavoidable. You wanna deal with an unavoidable damage over there? Give him a token. Oh, wow. I don't actually have TK with Polaris top dial. I couldn't have done that. I pretend like I did. Wow. Wow. This dupe is going to sidestep like this, and he's going to ram the same people. Now this one's at 11. Wow. Uh -huh. Ooh, that will hit 19. 19. It's going to hit both. A roll damage for Sunspot. One. One. Roll damage for Polaris. Two. Wow. Amazing. Now she has TK. She was on that. <laughs> and now we'll have Storm. Uh, Whatever. Hmm. We do have four actions. We need Nightcrawler to move somewhere. So he's just gonna. Let's get a Bamf. To here. Have Forge, save free, modify attack value plus one. Objects and friendly characters, and then have Storm running shot to here. Energy explosion, targeting Sunspot, Wolverine. Mm -hmm. Boom, that will crit hit for three damage to everyone. One, two, Three would be KO'd. Goes back to click one. Calder scoring 35 points. Ooh. Plus 10. Super senses on Port Laris. Port Laris. One. She's going to go back to click one. This is really fun that I'm not losing these characters. And, you know, it's not a bad trade off. You only got 105 points from that. Yeah. Uh, Wolverine will take three. So I get two bystanders then? You get two okay. bystanders. Awesome. And I think, let's see. Uh, da, da, da. Lower point value would be KO'd. You may instead choose to turn that character to its starting click this game, place them adjacent to a friendly character that can use this trait. So they're just both gonna get shoved like this. Ah, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. I'm gonna put this uh, Coven Akaba right here next to Storm. Um, and then I can put this to any friendly character. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So then we'll put it, 
right here. And where his actual thing is, is where he'll actually be. Uh, they're both autonomous now, because now I'm at my cap of actions here. Now I'm gonna have my coven go ahead and use Precision Strike, shooting at Wolverine. It's an 8, 19. That'll hit. Super Sense is on a 6. Ooh. Not quite. For 3. You didn't hit your 6, but you would have succeeded if I didn't have a season strike. If I didn't get this bystander. Oh, yeah. Do you think this Wolverine cool? would be KO'd? Oh, wow. But you better pick another bystander, because he's not going to be. He's going back to click Can one. I put it next to a friendly bystander? Is that a thing? Does it say friendly uh, character? like Adjacent to any of their characters. Gosh, can I just like make a bystander train that like <laughs> keeps going? Oh, that's fun. Well, I can put it like here. Oh my gosh, I'll put it here. Yeah, I'll put it there. I'm gonna have Phobos armor outwit Emma's impervious and energy explosion. Oh, that will miss. Uh, then I'm going to have Skinless Assassin Flurry on Polaris. Okay. A 9 will hit. Hits a 20. Oh. Blade. Oh. 5, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. She dies again. <laughs> so that's another... I'm just going to... I'm not going to bring out any more autonomous guys. I'm going to bring out this ape. Do you choose the bystander or do I choose the bystander? You choose. I choose? Okay, That's so choose. good. Oh my gosh. And by good, I mean terrible. Who would do this? And now it's your go. Oh, I clear forge. Excuse me. Uh, I'm going to roll for leadership with Emma. Roll for leadership with Sunspot. I'm really glad that I didn't lose Sunspot so that you could miss his leadership roll. Uh, I think I'm going to make a good decision here. And let's see. One, two, three. I'm gonna, man, one, two, three, clear out some of these little dudes. Uh, but before I do that, who do I want to have do stuff? Polaris will attempt to energy explode. So you got energy explosion knockback. So let's perplex up her attack and she will target the Coven Akaba. Okay. So she's an 11 with energy explosion. Oh, uh, prob it with Coven Akaba. Wow. A bystander with prob? What did you have to do to get that? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> KO figure. I'm yes. going to prob with Kate Prob. Yeah. Okay. Gets rid of them. Deal Storm 1. All right. Let's. Step with lockjaw and four range. So lockjaw. Let's see, that's one action. I gotta be a little conservative with my actions here. It's one action. What's Nightcrawler doing here? Uh, I put him in a place that isn't change. stealth because I'm a genius. <laughs> Let's sidestep Emma to here. Try and punch Nightcrawler. Okay. Go for it. A Eleven. two. Two and eighteen. You got it. That was super simple. Okay. For three. Let us see here. I've got two actions. I know one of them that I'm gonna take. I think I gotta try and finish off Nightcrawler this turn. So I'm gonna charge one, two, three, and flurry with Wolverine. Precision Ooh. strike exploit. Right. 11 for three. First attack. I will prob that with Nightcrawler's on dial prob. Whew. Okay. Super sense is on a six. We get it. Ooh, first one's odd. Second one. Oh, did that even hit a 19? Yeah. 
Oh, 19? Yeah. Oh, no, that misses Never mind. by one. Yeah. Read a prog up? Uh, I don't have anyone in line to prog right now. What do you think, prog? I could think prog it. Yeah. The super sense has failed. Eight. So. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try one more time. Yeah. Wow. For three. Down to two theme props. Nightcrawler would be KO'd, but instead, put him next to Storm. Krakoan Revival. Krakoan Revival. Wow. Wow. I think I will, I will generate. <laughs> but let's see. What is the dumb thing to generate? Uh, yeah, I like this Coven of guy. I'm going to put him it. next to my character here. And, uh, let's see. No, no, no. Do I want, man, too many choices. I'm actually going to make Phobos armor. Where is my, where's my Phobos armor? Do you have a flip side one of these? Yeah, here you go. Yeah. I'm going to make my Phobos armor next to my Kate Pride. And he's going to energy explode. Ooh. Targeting... Your focus armor. Can I outweigh my impervious? Yeah, yeah outweigh yeah. your impervious okay. and target yours with right. energy explosion. 11 into numbers. Ooh, that yeah, that'll hit. Teens. That was an atomic sack. He takes one damage because he has toughness. Doop, 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 doop. Pretty much does the exact same thing that Polaris does after rules changes. Knockback new energy. Oh going. yeah, but it's got better stats than her. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Got one action left to take. I think my sunspot will just charge your dupe. One, two, three, and he's gonna punch him. Ten into a seventeen. Oh wow. For a hit. Three damage. Two after toughness. Two. Uh, Polaris will have to clear this turn. Right? Yeah. She yeah, she, she didn't do anything. Sir. Did she no, she didn't energy explode. Did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. yeah these clears. guys. Yeah. Wow. All right. Leadership with Storm. It fails. Wow. I'm going to have, let's see, not a lot of good ramming possibilities to Let's try to have the dupe next to Sunspot sidestep. Oh, he fails. And you have a 19 defense at close. And then you can pulse wave me next turn. <laughs> Even though a pulse wave me would actually be worse now. Be worse than uh, punching him, yeah. yeah. All right, this dupe here is just gonna side step one, two, ram. To there. It's just gonna be on Emma Frost, I guess. Uh, is there a better ram we could get off? Or here? Step like that. Ram to here, going through Cape Pride. Interesting. Interesting. It is going to be a 10 to my 18. Ah, that will miss. I will take an unavoidable damage for that. That dupe is just gonna punch Sunspot, I guess. Ooh, a nine. 19 will, will hit. hit for two whole damage. I will take my two damage. Wow, this game's still going. Wow, this is a lot of fun. And then I'm just gonna, whatever, forge. Gonna move him here. 
I'm going to clear Nightcrawler and Storm. And it's here you go. Very interesting. Okay. Leadership with Emma Frost. No. That's too bad. Uh, she's going to sidestep so that she is next to Sunspot. Taking his Empower, so she has four damage. Ooh. She is going to punch Dupe. Eleven for four. That no. would be seventeen. Oh yes, absolutely. For three after. Oh, it takes Dupe to stop, and I get to make a bystander. That's not <laughs> not a critical. Yeah, it's not a critical revival. A tiger. I will try and sidestep, break Sunspot. No, I think I'll prob that with my Cape Pride. Ooh. Got it. Got it. He's going to sidestep back. One, two. Carrying Emma with him to here. And then my Phobos armor will try and energy explode on the tiger. Oh, no. My poor, poor tiger. Eleven. End of stuff. Ooh. That misses a lot. Lockheed. 10 for 2, gonna try and punch Forge for potentially 1 damage. No. <laughs> so that's 1 autonomous action, 1, 2 power actions this turn. And my Cape Pride. And Lockheed is also autonomous? He, no, he is not. Oh, okay. No. Uh, my Cape Pride will sidestep to here. She ignores characters, so yeah, she'll just sidestep right okay. to there and try and punch Forge. All right. Uh, let's have let's have uh, Lockheed perplex her attack up to an eleven. All right. You need a six. I'll do it for three. For three. I'll do you three knockback. Ooh. Because it's always three now. That's, that's right. Fun. That's right. Polaris will clear. And Wolverine will clear. And no one else. Uh, Sunspot did an action. Did he punch dupe? Did he just, I think he just sidestepped. So he clears. Alright. Uh, Storm's leadership. Let's have this tiger charge to here. Punching Sunspot. It's a 10. 2 is 17. Oh, Dupe is going to prob that. And I'm going to say, whatever. There's one of my theme props. Dang. All right. Let's go ahead and... Nightcrawler to here, carrying dupe here, and I'm going to say Nightcrawler goes back to there after actions resolve. Yeah, let's have Storm just go ahead and try to energy explosion, target Kate, I'll target Polaris, I guess. Ooh, that one miss. And then we'll also have Forge just try to range combat expert Polaris. Ooh, that will hit. We'll prop that. Ooh, Kate Pride. All right. Emma Frost doesn't matter she's not next to anybody but I got it this time uh, let's see let's see indeed um, let's
first we'll just sidestep my Lockheed to here and perplex down your Forge's defense. Ooh, okay. okay. And my Polaris will attempt to shoot you with her 10 for 3. Mm. I get super senses because Nightcrawler can see me. Oh, I would die, but I don't want to. So, we'll go ahead and place him. Krakoan Revival. Here. Very interesting. I think, I guess, since you're going to do that, I will make a Covenant Kava here. Mm. Who will then proceed to shoot Forge again. Ooh, 11 for 3. Oh, hits. I get super senses on a six. Nope. Uh, 40 points. For that. Um, that was Polaris Autonomous. My Wolverine is going to charge. Charge and flurry, targeting this dupe first. Okay. An 11 into the 18. That will that hit 18 exactly for second stop. Yep. Second attack. I need a 7 one six. Okay. But I don't want him to die. So. Place him here. Oh. Next to Storm. Oh boy, I think I can make myself a. <laughs> Another Phobos arm. <sighs> which I will place here. Oh boy. And uh, now that autonomous character will energy explode targeting Forge. Okay. An 11 into all the numbers. No hits. Forge gets super senses. Doesn't get it. Storm gets super senses. Doesn't get it. Nightcrawler gets super senses. Oh, he actually gets it. Okay. Dupe will take one damage. Storm will take one damage. Forge will take two. He will die. I don't want him to. <laughs> so I'm going to put him right there. <laughs> I think I will generate sheer thrill of it. Um, what am I at actions wise? Wolverine. Wolverine did something. Polaris, Polaris did something. Two autonomous. Yeah. I'll generate a non-autonomous. Is Lockheed also autonomous? No, Lockheed's no, okay. not. He only sides to oh, so okay, far. Uh, I'll generate an Orcus soldier. And I'm out of action tokens, so we'll go with unwanted revival tokens that you can get for joining the Patreon at Dial H for hero clicks. Wow. When you just wow. don't want all those revivals, this is just a really long commercial for these. It's actually just really long. Like, do you see how painful this is? You can make that stop. Get yourself an old man phoenix and get yourself these tokens. Wow. Wow. I'm going to <laughs> running shot energy explosion to here. Penetrating psychic blast. Penetrating psychic blast to here. Targeting dupe. An 18. Why wouldn't a bystander have an 11 for 3? And then I suppose uh, Sunspot for my fourth action this turn will punch a tiger. A 10 into a wow. 16. Good. Nice. I hope he dies, but doesn't, if you know what I mean. Okay. I will clear my Phobos. He dies to himself, you don't get a whatever, right? Oh, I don't know. That's that's possible. Uh, clear my Kate Pride. Clear my Lockheed. It says by an opposing effect, so yeah. Oh, your own so Phobos yeah, yeah. would get around to a Uh And then clear Emma Frost. 
We're gonna do some leadership with Storm. Oh, it's a one. Wow, she's such a terrible leader. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Jeez. Oh, goodness gracious. Let's have the tiger try to KO Sunspot here. Ooh, that will hit Sunspot. We're gonna roll blades. Ooh, it's a six. Of course, it's a six on Sunspot's like last he did, click, he right? Did one, yeah. one, yeah, of course. I think he will come back exactly where he was. Wow. All right. Ooh. I think I definitely. You took all the Phobos armor, Simeon. Oh man, there's no Phobos armor left. Aww. We can yeah. just put a, a piece of paper down and call it that. We can see the stats. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna make this Phobos armor right here. That's a terrible spot for it. Uh, Next up, we're gonna have Nightcrawler. Let's see. Three, four, three, ten, so he's gonna just move it along that path. So Nightcrawler's gonna go here, placing Forge here, and the Nightcrawler will teleport back. Forge is gonna go free, modify attack value plus one. Deep's gonna go here, sidestep, well, whoopsies. To sidestep to there. Uh, first, before we do that, outwit Phobos Armor's impervious. Sidestep. One, two, three, four, five, six, five. Ram to there. Uh, after resolutions, he gets to make an attack, so he'll get the plus one attack from Forge. Very nice. Yeah. That's fun. Uh, yeah, no impervious, whatever. Yeah. Ooh, that'll miss 16. probably a bunch of people. So we'll yes. second theme prop. Prob it with the other dupe, I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna waste all my theme props on this one. I really want this to hit. Prob it with Forge. Ah, oh, these fives. No. All right. It be like that sometimes. It really do be like that. Sometimes. That was a really solid setup for just that was right for nothing. Rolls. Let's uh, let's do this Phobos armor. He'll go ahead and he'll shoot. Whatever. Energy explosion targeting this Phobos armor. Okay. Ooh, wow, it's a 17. So, 17. no one. Yes. Maybe Lockheed. Uh, no, because no. energy shield, tiny. Okay, ESD, tiny. Okay. ESD on Kate Pride as well. Uh, that's you. Let's do Storm's energy explosion on your Phobos armor. Yeah, it's better. That's a ten of it's a That'll ten. Hit tens. Uh, hit twenty ones. Yeah. I don't believe I can see. Oh, yes, you had perplexed. You could have perplexed up anyone's attack value of that turn, but you did not. So targeting the Phobos armor. Mm -hmm. So Phobos armor destroyed. Lockheed destroyed. Uh, Kate Pride taking two damage. I'm a nineteen wow. defend with charge outwit blades. Wow. I will have Storm perplexed down her attack value, I suppose. And then, uh, actually, that's not even that bad. Let's perplex down this dude's attack value, this Storm. Uh, that was one, that was two, that was three. Let's, I guess, have this tube. The counting Nightcrawlers. Side oh, four, yeah, that's right. One, two, three, four. Tiger. So we'll just sidestep that dupe to there. End the turn. Forge, and that's it. Mm. Leadership with Emma Frost. Leadership with Sunspot. Ooh. Sunspot gets it. Can't take it off. <laughs> Can't take it off the tiger. Uh, no one with willpower. Let's see, let's see. Man, I really
really feel like I can kill another dupe this turn. You've got one on click six and one on click five, so that's pretty plausible. Let's have Sunspot. Man, oh man, I feel like that's perfectly fine. Uh, he'll just try and punch the tiger. Okay. 10 into the 16. That wow. Uh, I lost my prop from Kate Pride. Uh, do I attempt to break away? Yeah, I'll just go for it. Wolverine's going to attempt to charge Flurry break away. I will theme prop that. <laughs> my. Do I have one remaining? Theme prop token there. Yeah. There you go. From a one to a six, ladies and gentlemen. We will charge to here and flurry no. on this dude. No! Alright, 17. First attack. That hits. This dude also should have taken another point while we're doing this thing. Uh. Alright, second 18. attack. 18. Nope. That'll hit a 17. Uh. You can strike that a is timer. Two action tokens. One for Sunspot, one for the other guy. Uh, my Phobos armor will... Let's just outwit Dupe's toughness. Ooh, all right. And energy explode. All right, I see. Oh, I've got see. two targets, actually. Um, Could target my tiger. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, we'll just <laughs> stick with... Uh, actually, before I do it, I guess I could... I'd step this lady one two okay and then I'll have line of fire two uh, nightcrawler nightcrawler yeah it's real we'll, shape change we'll say nightcrawler it'll become a storm okay, okay. so now it's storm so we'll outwit toughness on do target both of them yeah both of them does a uh, 16. 16 is gonna miss everybody uh, yeah that's fine. Yeah. We've got so many things going on that it's perfectly legal. Uh, we've got charge blades, outwit. Let's outwit Storm's energy explosion. Mm. That's a good call. That's a good call. For no reason. Um, one, two, autonomous. Three, we will running shot with this guy to here. And try and psychic blast. Okay. Deep. He only has a 10, because the storm's perplexed. That's true. Wow. It's very true. Watch you roll a 6. It was like, wow, good job on me. Nope, that's a 7. But it hits. Tiger! Now I will attempt to shoot Nightcrawler okay. with my Coven Akaba. Getting my enhancement. Shape change. Go for it. Enhancement from Ooh. Orcus Soldier. All right. So it's an 11 for 4. Hits. Super senses on a six. Nope. That was autonomous. That was my third action. Fourth action. Something. Something. We will sidestep Emma to here and attempt yes. to shoot the tiger. Ah, yes. You will try. Five. Tiger cannot come back because it's not it doesn't have the X-Men keyword. <laughs> Poor Tiger. The one who clears this turn, so that's one, two, three. She, she just clears. sidestepped. So yeah. three, four, autonomous. Yeah. Seems like so much like too much is happening. So many actions. Yeah, so not a ring off for defense. 18. Which was combat reflexes. Eight. Who has the highest speed value for opposing characters? Wow. It all it's all bad. Nine. It's all bad. Nines and eights. Oh no. They already have nines and eights. If only it would be friendly as well. I could move Nightcrawler. I mean, Cape Pride has an eleven top dial. Yeah. Oh no. Alright. 
we are going to outwit the super senses with this guy. The flux of his attack value is Storm, and he's going to target Polaris and the Coven Akaba with Energy Explosion. Mm. Ooh, that'll hit 18. Uh, well, actually, no. It'll hit 19s because we perplexed up his attack value. Uh, I will yes. prop it with my Coven Akaba. Uh, okay. Ooh, that will still hit. even more. Yes, 21s. That will take out this boy. This boy. No super senses on Polaris, so she will take one, two, and she would be KO'd. Ooh, wow. However, no thank you, ma'am. No, oh, excuse me. I want her to be on click one again. Right there. And then she oh, takes two. She takes two. Yeah. I need that. Good job, sir. Good job. Good job. All right, that was an autonomous action. Wow. Would you like to select a new bystander? Oh, yes, I do want a bystander. Yes, indeed. Yes, yes, indeed. Who do we have that is all up in that biz nasty that I want to shoot people with? Uh, let's do... Man, that guy is so good. We're going to bring the coven, a cob here to there. And then he will shoot Katie, Kate Pride. Hmm. Very interesting. Yes. Yes. Because I want a prop. I want a prop. I was like, ah, energy explosion is so good, but I want a prop. Because I don't have any prop left. So yeah. 11-2-18. Uh, Ooh, they'll miss. We'll prop it. Because I chose prop. Ooh. That will hit an 18. Super sense is on a 6, you say. Ooh. Oh, so close. <laughs> For 3 damage. 3 oh, damage. All. 1, 2. Uh-oh. Good thing I have a second for Cohen Revival piece. <laughs> And I can oh place my pride next uh, to her. This was all still autonomous actions. Wow. So that's another 75 points for me. Mmm. Yummy. Wah, wah, wah. Oh. That is the point threshold for this match. <laughs> what a fun game it was, Calder. So the myth is really simple this time around, don't you think? I concur. Pretty simple myth. Lots of fun to be had, WizKid says. The myth, Krakoan revival fun? Let's delve into the reasons why they say. Comic accurate. We did build X-Men theme teams. Comic accurate, no, not really, but they are X-Men theme teams. X-Men is a comic. That checks out. More combat. Yes, we did play a game of hero clicks. There was combat. There was more of it. That's true. Because when something died, we brought in another something that made a lot of attacks. So there was more, for sure. And my team didn't just disappear, so they all kept doing things, even if I didn't want them to. Checks out. Attacking fun. I've always thought so. I had a lot of fun making attacks. And we made a lot of them. It's sort of it's sort of just something you do though. It kind like of in is a game. In yeah. A base it's just sort of part of this game. Yes. Is attacking. Moving is fun. Yep. When you think about it, I guess. I also I like want to stay I back also here. like having figures in a map. That Those is are well. both fun. Uh, spread out actions. This one was harder to determine what they meant. Uh, yeah. I don't really feel like I was spreading out my actions. I more felt like I was getting a bunch of autonomous pogs from KOing Calder's thing. Yes. But when he was KOing my figures, or would be KOing my figures, I feel like uh, the turn took longer, I guess. Is that what they were going yeah. for? Yeah. Myth works with that one. Yeah. Uh, undying fun. So not losing my characters. That was actually nice. It meant that uh, my sunspot got to do stuff rather than just being blown apart right away. Right. Wolverine got to make a lot more attacks because he stayed around. Polaris was there. It is it is a good thing because I know how many times I build a team where it's like, I have all these figures, but really I want Dupe to do cool things. And then like, mm -hmm. oh, well, if you kill him right away, then I just don't even want to play the game anymore because well, he's gone. He's the yeah. whole character. He's the main reason I built this team. So, yeah, it was fun. Characters last longer. Well, how could they not? Yeah. We designed this game so that they would, and they they did, yes. 
I don't know if you were aware during the gameplay, but uh, did any characters stay KO'd? No. Other than the bystanders? No. no. Winning and losing on points. Possibly more fun than KOing your opponent's team or having your team KO'd. I don't know about that one. I, I, kind think, of, it's, yeah. I think it's fun to wipe the board. I, I kind like of, that. yeah. I as, like a, that. as a winner, when I win, I like to have my opponent's team I don't team like gone. winning on points. Like when time is called and it's like, ah, I guess I have more points. Because then it's, you're nervous the entire game where it's like, oh, do I have more points? Am I, where am I at? But instead, you're just like, oh, I wiped the whole team. I know I won. I also don't feel any better about losing. I think I'd rather lose and all my characters get KO'd and I lose like 300 points than having my opponent score the build total plus another 100. Yeah. So that doesn't feel as fun. But what I will say is it did give me a chance to kind of rally. Calder would have wiped my team pretty quickly in like the first couple rounds. That's right. You did have a better chance yeah. because you brought everything back. Yeah. So I did get more engagement out of the game and felt like I had a chance until the very end. But uh, I don't I don't think it felt any better or worse in my opinion on that one. I agree. So overall, this myth, Krakoan Revival more fun? Plausible. 